Lee and I grew up in the same town together in Texas. He stopped me and wanted me to, to listen to a song. Ask Matt if, if they were looking for a drummer to go on the road with him. I got a four track for Christmas and had written a song. And I thought the song was beautiful and, and just was anxious to have any opportunity to sing. So I auditioned. Dale joined in October of that year. When we started the tour, I was 18. It was just kind of a casual connection at first. It just snowballed into something big. Sixpence, none of the richer comes from a book by C.S. Lewis called Mere Christianity. And it's like a story he used to describe faith, and the story was a boy asking his father for sixpence to buy him a birthday present, and the father um, gladly gives the son the money, but he's no better off for the gift that the child gives him. Because he gave the child the money in the first place to buy the present, so. He was comparing that to how God gave us everything that we have, and. We give our gifts to God, but we consider him sixpence on the richer. I definitely have enjoyed making this last record better than I did the other two. Just each one has gotten more and more fun. Before we had just kind of thrown it all together in the process of a month, but on this album, it seems like we took, golly, February, March, April, May, I don't know, four or five months. We recorded it with Russ Long and Steve Taylor, and um, that made it pretty, pretty darn fun. We were able to uh, just keep recording until we got things just just the way we wanted them. We wanted the record to tell a story, and uh, almost in the sense that it's 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 a play. A lot of strong emotions going on in me. We know when I was recording, and uh, it was just it was just a kind of a rough time. It's been a rough couple of years. It's been humbling at times. You come to a big crisis, and and it just seems your dreams can't get off the ground. When we started. Things looked pretty dark, but as we got nearer to the completion of the album, it seems like things became more hopeful. And I think God has to take you to that point where you're just totally helpless and, and realize that he's, he's the only way that you've got out. The lines of my earth So brittle and fertile and ready to die I need a drink but the well has gone dry During the record, the lyrics would change a little bit as we went and Matt would change stuff and um, it was cool watching them evolve. Your writing shouldn't just be like your own whinings, you know, like listen to me whine. It's also great to just be honest in your songwriting and in lyrics. If it doesn't change people, if people can't latch onto it and hold it and it doesn't change them, I just think it's really not worth, worth anything. <laughs> I enjoy singing Kiss Me more than I think anything. Sister Mother is kind of based on the scripture, and I think it's in Proverbs where it says, let wisdom be your sister. I want to find uh, where the maid in the street is pouring her wine. I heard she takes you in and gives you the words you need said. Just saying, you should let wisdom be your mother and your sister. and and you should be her brother. I always want to stop after the song and tell the people, did you hear that? Because <laughs> you really needed to hear that. It's just so beautiful. If you be her brother, she kiss you like a sister. We brought in a string quartet and uh, had that play on a lot of the songs. Matt did all the arrangements for those and it's just beautiful. I got to play my cello on that as well, which is great. By the end, when they were putting the string arrangements on it, it, I mean, it just seems like a completely different recording than when we began. They kind of almost glue the record together. I think the interesting thing is that you know, Matt never uh, really picked up the cello in the way that most people do. Not many people know how I discovered, discovered the cello. I found this instrument uh, about three years ago here at Cornerstone, right at this very river. 
We had hiked for days through the uh, undergrowth of the jungle and of the, the forests of central Illinois. Halfway sticking out of a, of a rock. Matt says, there it is. It was hanging in the air by, a, by some, some hand, just some mysterious hand. And We realized soon that it was a, actually a cello and a pretty old one at that. It was Matt that first suggested, hey, maybe we should grab that and use that in our musical endeavors. Lee jumped in first and uh, I was afraid she would drown, so I jumped in after her and I actually did begin to drown and that's when Matt jumped in after me. And I just went up and, and grabbed it. The cello just fell into his, to, to his hands. The air became cooler, the sun came out from behind the clouds. And he just started playing it. A light shone from heaven. Just beautiful. He didn't even have to go through a learning process. It just came to him like, just, just right there. Been mine ever since. In a sense, we've died and been reborn. And I'm really excited for the future. 